Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the Mario for beginner series and in this video we are going to get started with the uh, with making a floor for our Mario so currently we in the last video we implemented gravity and if you remember then Mario falls down and he just keeps falling down until you know uh, like forever so we need to soon have Mario stop when uh, he reaches the bottom line so if I start this you can see Mario keeps going down so we need to make a way for Mario to stop now let's actually try to make it stop when it's at the very bottom uh, of the screen so uh, the way we will do this is that after we are doing updating after we are handling the movement we will check if uh, our rect dot top uh, plus uh, and we are going to add to this uh, our rect dot uh, uh, height and uh, uh, currently if I go here you can see that the size of our screen is determined by this now uh, we are going to change this a little bit by adding a right click uh, going right click and add and in here we are going to add a new item which is going to be just a uh, like a header file for storing all of our constants which we will just call something like uh, global let's say global dot h so we will create this file and in here we can basically add a bunch of hashtag defines to create constants in the C style so I'm going to hashtag define and we can use it to define our width and height so uh, for the width you can just say width and uh, uh, we can define our width to be 800 as we have done here and I'm going to essentially copy this and paste this again uh, here and uh, for the height we will make it uh, just 600 and uh, we can go ahead and say height like that and uh, if you do that what you should see is that we are we are now going to be able to actually just uh, uh, you know go ahead and handle uh, everything quite easily because now we know the size and even if we change it then it will work and uh, by the way I uh, kind of made a mistake here so alright so uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and check if we plus this so I'm going to put like a bracket after this if this is greater than uh, our uh, height of the screen that we have got so if it's greater than the height of the screen height now that is obviously not working and the reason it's not working is that we have not included the global dot h so I'm going to go ahead and press uh, alt and enter and it should automatically okay it does not automatically detect, detect it so let's go ahead and say hashtag include and let's go ahead and say global dot h so uh, global dot h and that should now work uh, hopefully uh, yeah it should actually work why is it not working uh, oh alright uh, it seems like uh, it's not working because I've got a typo in here right okay so let's go ahead and make it T again after that so that should now work so now we've got that if that is the case then we're going to go ahead and set rec dot uh, top uh, to be our equal to our height so we are going to get our height but we obviously don't want to set it to just the height but instead we are going to set it to height and we are going to subtract that from rec dot height uh, which is the height of the actual Mario so if we subtract that and we do this what you should see is that we have essentially got a floor for our Mario uh, and yes that works and we can obviously move on the floor and uh, our Mario can also move in the air you can limit those abilities if you want uh, like moving in the air but I think Mario should be able to move in air so that's pretty awesome now that our Mario can move on a floor there are a couple of two important things that I would like to implement the first one is that in, uh, no matter the direction Mario is facing you can see that it's always like uh, uh, you know facing the uh, right direction even if uh, uh, even though it's moving towards left so we want that to we want to fix that so that uh, Mario faces the direction uh, Mario is moving so how are we gonna do that and the second thing we want to implement in this video is going to be jumping so let's first start with the uh, facing issue so we need to make it so that uh, depending on the uh, like the direction of the Mario uh, we can actually set uh, this to uh, like uh, so if Mario moves towards the left even if a little bit then we are going to set the direction to be left and if it moves towards the right then we are going to set the direction to be right so uh, that uh, doing that should be pretty easy let's go ahead and actually make it like this so that we can have multiple statements in here and uh, if Mario is moving towards left uh, because this will be when Mario will be moving towards left we want to essentially flip the Mario so how can we do that so if I go ahead and say sprite dot uh, 
and if you if you try to like say flip you can see there is no method like flip so uh, how are we supposed to like uh, uh, kind of flip this uh, easily without having those problems well you can do it really easily by using the scale method and the scale is essentially going to well scale it depending on a factor uh, and what we can do is uh, we can go ahead and give it uh, one and one obviously but we can actually make the x minus uh, one negative one and what we do that once we do that it will essentially flip the m uh, mario so if i start the game mario is moving towards this if i press right it moves towards here and if i press left it did not change wow uh that was not supposed to happen uh, the reason it happened is because we are doing set scale here in the draw method separately so we need to kind of have a, mm, uh, a kind of have a uh, value to multiply this with so let's go under mario.h and uh, let's go ahead and say int direction we are going to create an int direction and i'm going to add a comment after this which is explaining that one is, uh, is for right and uh, uh, right and uh, uh, negative one for left uh, so that we can we know we know what direction is going uh, now that might be uh, good but uh, let's actually have a more uh, you know we can actually mul we could actually multiply it with that direction but there is a better way to do it which would be to have a bool here called uh, facing left which will be a bit more uh, let, uh, secure you can say it won't be able to easily mess stuff up so let's go under mario.cpp again and in here we are going to and just go ahead and say or get our facing left variable and we are going to set that to true uh, and uh, that uh, is awesome and now let's go in here and uh, we are going to multiply this x1 so we've got once we've done this we are going to multiply this by uh, whether depending on whether we are facing left so we are going to use the ternary operator if we are facing left then negative one else uh, just one so let's go ahead and do it like that and now what you should see is that everything should actually work in the right manner so as soon as it starts you can see that okay that was not supposed to happen uh, the reason it happened is because uh, let me just add this here so that uh, uh, everything occurs in the correct order because I think it's messing stuff up a bit so let's do it like that uh, and now let's go ahead and uh, try to run and see whether that works or not uh, because now it should work all right and if I move left and if I move right then you can see that Mario gets flipped but uh, the effect was a bit weird we will fix that in a second and secondly Mario does not switch back so th the switching back part is really easy we can just uh, copy this line and paste it here uh, the only difference is that we will go ahead and uh, uh, firstly let me allow me to add these here so that uh, we can kind of you know have multiple statements inside of our if so i'm going to do this and facing left is going to be set to false instead of true now uh, that uh, now let's try that out and see how well that goes so uh, there is still one problem which is that if i start you can see that uh, uh, even though the mario does change position mario seems a bit weird because you can see uh, yeah you can see that it seems like uh, you know a lot of gap has been left when we change the position the reason is that our uh, you know origin is not in the center and uh, we are using it to the left we will have to add the width to this essentially but obviously we don't want to change the position of the sprite so how can we overcome this issue now in order to do that I'm actually going to remove this because uh, you don't we don't really need this anymore so we can remove uh, this calculation that we had and uh, we can uh, we can add another line here which is this line so this will is essentially go, uh, changing the texture rack which means the uh, where we get the texture we are changing that we are not actually mm, you know changing the actual sprite but it's not changing the texture so for this for the top for uh, this you need to provide it with an sf colon colon interact which means you will have a uh, you know a like a size on the top left and then on the top right and uh, uh, then uh, you know the size just like a rect so for the top left we are actually doing a little bit of calculation for the uh, y we are having it at zero obviously since we want it to start at the top left corner uh, and uh, we will discuss this calculation in a second and for the size on the y we are just putting the texture dot get size dot y here now as far as the x is concerned we are multiplying this by a negative one if we are facing left so if we are facing left we will multiply the texture dot get size dot x by negative one so that it's uh, reversed 
<laughs> so uh, if previously that extra size was 16 now it would become negative 16 and it would go in this direction however the uh, text so uh, the texture rect will be here so we need to push the position forward as well so we'll just go ahead and say sf colon colon interact uh, when no not here sorry and in here we will say texture dot get size dot x and this is for the position and we will only we will multiply this by facing left if it's facing left then we will multiply this by one which means we will actually get this and not facing left we will multiply this by zero which means that the top left corner will be the position so this is essentially going to fix all of our problems and make our mario uh, look really good so once i start the game you can see that if uh, I move left it works like this and if I move right it works like this and it's working pretty well so uh, this video is getting a bit long so in the next video we'll actually discuss the jumping so uh, this is pretty much it for this video and I will see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and share this video with other people and bye